Bring this up here. Okay, there I am. Todd Dunn, thank you very much. Now I have to start all over again because I didn't have this one switch on. Again, I'm a newbie. I'm not very bright. I apologize. I'm not like Todd Dunn, a professor at a university, and his wife, a professor at a university, and my wife, a professor at a university, et cetera, et cetera. So now I can see it. I, again, I apologize for having a silent, you know, uh, you know, stream here. I could have just put on my headphones. See right there? I can actually hear myself again. Thank you very, very much. Todd Dunn in uh, Maine. Uh, he's always uh, very friendly, very nice, and always has, uh, you know, the public interest at heart. Some of you are uh, can aspire to that. So I'm uh, in my little studio. This is my modified uh, dining room. Uh, since we don't have uh, lavish dinners here and uh, catered events, uh, I just use it for my studio. I have two lights over there and this muslin that I built back in the mid 80s, I painted. Again, uh, this is just a muslin fabric right here. And uh, you know, there's also canvas. Okay, says Todd Dunn says that is better. Thank you very much, Todd Dunn. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. So, uh, you know, we aim to please here at RV and Travel Adventure. Let me use my other camera. Again, this is basically a test. I estimate uh, there's about maybe uh, five people watching this video, if I'm lucky, maybe 10. That's with my fingers crossed. Dare to dream, huh? Some people out there have thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands of subscribers when they do a live stream. So, and of course, Todd Dunn just noted also, he's, he's probably the only person watching this video. He says, I am no longer a prof, just an old geezer. He happens to be an old geezer, lives in a nice part of Maine and has a sailboat. And he goes sailing in cool temperatures over there by Ba Harbor. And uh, I wish I was there. It's been 100 degrees. Today's supposed to be 106 degrees here in Fort Worth. Yesterday was 105 degrees. Very, very, very nice. Let me lower the volume on my headphones. Very nice. So I hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. Uh, I'm in, uh, again, Fort Worth, Texas. And again, I was talking about earlier that I'm having problems with my kitchen cabinets in my RV and my Rockwood Mini Light 2205S. It's a small travel trailer under 24 feet. It's a, it's a very nice travel trailer. I like it. I only spent 25 grand on it. Plopped down 25,000 cash. Bought myself a little travel trailer. Added 700 bucks for a hitch. Called it good. And then I've been uh, camping here, there, everywhere from uh, Indiana where I bought it. Missouri, Illinois, a lot in Arkansas. I've been camping a lot in Arkansas and a lot in Texas. Previous to that, I was doing some truck bed camping, uh, which works out for me. You know, it's, it was a very budget way. That's the reason I bought my Chevy Colorado and put a cab on it, because I can sleep in the back. I knew it was going to be six feet. My wife is 5'8", and I'm 5'10", and we can sleep in the back, put some pads back there, and we can go anywhere we want, put a cooler, uh, and it worked out for us. But this trail trailer is working out relatively well. I didn't know I was going to have to be so uh, DYI. I didn't know I have to be fixing things constantly, which is a pain in the butt. I always watch these fixing vi fix it videos. I didn't know that was going to be my new occupation, RV repair person. So I've been replacing things. I replaced the slides in my travel trailer. I replaced another slide on my travel trailer. I just found some other slides, uh, drawer slides, that are no longer functioning. Okay, so... Again, feel free to leave your kind and friendly comments in the chat section here. Uh, this video is only going to go on for another five minutes because my wife uh, just went to the optometrist, and when she comes back, I'm going to hear a bunch of racket, and uh, I'll have to turn off the video. I apologize. You know, so, so thanks for uh, watching my video. Again, uh, I'm just doing a test. Uh, uh, first, first thing I flunked was I forgot to put up the volume on the mic auxiliary to max. It was on off. I, I learned certain things as I, you know, explore this existence. Uh, as in life, you gain 
you know, wisdom from your experiences, as you very well know. The average uh, viewer of my channel is about 70 years old. I'm past 70, I'm 71 now, and uh, I really enjoy producing these videos and yammering incessantly uh, on the old YouTube. <laughs> so I'm having some issues with my drawers. Uh, the next step, uh, I just produce a video, I put some magnets, so when the doors close, they have magnets. One drawer, the new slide, didn't have the capacity for locking. It actually didn't have any sort of modest locking mechanism that most of the drawers from my RV had a little bit of a locking mechanism. As you close it, it stayed in place and then you move it out. The ones, uh, the slides I bought from uh, Home Depot just open and close and they didn't have any locking mechanism per, per se, okay? So what I did is added two magnets on that one, you know, left and right, and called it good, okay? Okay. So, but under the sink, uh, I've been, I was installing my, uh, yeah, a couple days ago, my, uh, my drawer, and it's still super wobbly, so I'm gonna have to replace those slides. I added some magnets already, said, so, well, in the meantime, I'll add some magnets in there, and and so it can at least close. I had a two <laughs> magnets, one magnet there, one magnet there, and also a little clip that sort of connects and then locks in place. Because I'm so super paranoid. And in the future, when I go camping, I'm not gonna take anything with me. I'm not gonna, you know, have things in those drawers. I'm actually gonna leave them empty in the vague uh, delusional hope that they don't fly out again when I hit a little bump. I was planning to go to Kansas uh, City, visit some family, and then eventually to Cresco, I would uh, go to a wedding uh, in a, about a few weeks. But my wife and I said, we're not gonna go camping. She said, no, we're not gonna go camping. It's not cost effective. Camping is only effective, let me change the camera and talk to this other camera. Camping is only cost effective if you stay somewhere for a while. If you stay, if you drive somewhere, Stay there for about a week and pay 20, 30, 40 bucks. It's cheap. But if you spend, a, you know, 50 bucks in gas, park somewhere for 20 bucks, 30 bucks, and then go spend another 50 bucks on gas, and then you go another 20, 30, 40 bucks on, on a place, it's not cost effective. And my wife also said, hey, we're going to have to tear down the RV every time we're at a park. And the next RV park we go to, we have to set it all up. And that takes about an hour for this old fart to do, and that uh, hitch is super, super, super heavy, super heavy. Not, not a pleasant experience. And my wife uh, doesn't like uh, arguing with me when I'm backing out. She goes, uh, more to the left. And I say, I can't even see you. How am I supposed to know what, what you said? Go, go over there so I can actually see you. And then we argue for about a half hour, and then we finally get the RV parked. So, so this is my little microphone. It's a... Uh, PreSonus, Revelator Dynamic, and there's my anchor, I think it's a C200 over there, and this, of course, is my MacBook Pro 16-inch, okay? Hella heavy laptop, hella, hella, hella heavy laptop. So I've had uh, Todd Dunn, who's the only person, uh, this is essentially just a one-on-one -on -one conversation with him, it is pretty hot here too. It hit 75 earlier today, but now the fog is blowing in and it's 68. I think he's trying to piss me off. He succeeded, he's pissing me off, okay? Todd Dunn, you're pissing me off. It's 105 degrees here. My foundation, which is a you know a cement foundation, you can see under it, the clay is coming out. I mean, drying up and there's so I've been having to water around the foundation in the hope that my foundation doesn't go like this or like that or which wouldn't be fun and expensive. Luckily, I have a, when I bought the house, uh, it came with a foundation, you know, policy. And I've already had them here twice adjusting things, but it seems like they only adjust the house up. They put a little, this round, this long, cement piers under there and they put a little metal, little square 
half inch parts in there and they stick them up and they raise your house. So it seems my house is going up. Is there any, is there any possibility that they actually go down a little bit? Because, you know, I'm already watering the plants and I'm going, hey, that's... So, um, hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. I'm just doing a little test here, and uh, thank you very, t uh, very thanks for checking out my video, Todd Dunn. Uh, when he lived in Duncanville, he had some issues similar again. Thank you very much. My uh, computer's talking to me, even though I didn't want it to talk to me. Let me turn that off, that functionality. So. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. Again, I have uh, more issues, uh, things to fix with my uh, travel trailer, and slides, magnets, trying to keep the slides, you know, the drawers in place. Uh, hopefully, uh, my, uh, my efforts to fix the uh, slides and drawers work out pretty good. You know, that's how it works out. Uh, in about three weeks or so, I'm headed to uh, Cresco, Iowa for a wedding. And uh, it's my one of my nephews is getting married over there at the country club in Cresco, Iowa, where we're staying in Decorah, Iowa, at a very nice old hotel. Very nice. Decorah is a touristy spot. Sort of like, uh, you know, it's the Carmel of Iowa. <laughs> but they have a school down there, a college down there called Luther college and they also have vegetarian stores you know restaurants my wife's going to enjoy that because she's what what is my wife my wife's a vegetarian so and of course they have a mexican restaurant that should be a lot of fun you know decora iowa mexican food that should be fabulous should be absolutely fabulous again uh i'm gonna make a stop where am i making stop i'm making a stop in uh, wichita kansas i'm gonna stay there overnight my wife and i are gonna take her car her uh, Subaru, which gets 31 miles a gallon. We're staying in Wichita, Kansas. And then after that, we're going to stay in Omaha, Nebraska. Fabulous. Absolutely beautiful Omaha, Nebraska. Omaha, Nebraska. Everybody aspires to visit Omaha and Wichita. I'm just telling you. And then we're headed to uh, Cresco. And we're going to go to that reception, and we're going to be staying at a very nice hotel in a beautiful town. I absolutely love this town, Decorah, Iowa. I've been there several times. Every time I go visit family in Cresco and Des Moines and Ames and such like that, I always like to go to Decorah and visit. If you've ever been in Iowa, I would recommend going. That's pretty close to the uh, Minnesota border, Decorah, Iowa. Absolutely beautiful. I'll be shooting a video. My goal is to shoot some videos in uh, Wichita, Kansas. Should be absolutely amazing. And then another one in Omaha, Nebraska. Again, four star adventures right there, okay? And then, of course, the Cora, which is actually the only place on this trip I think is going to be worthy of a video and uh, some adventures. Let me switch cameras. I'm going to go back to my little uh, anchor webcam right there. Hey, there I am. Hope you're doing fantastic. I appreciate your uh, checking out my, uh, you know, my live stream. This has been a test, and earlier on I screwed up and didn't have the volume on. I apologize. I'm gonna leave it in, you know, set like this for the future. I'm gonna show you the back of my shirt. So this is a place where Annie and I go again. We go down there, Polka. It's a national polka festival down there. My wife being a German, quote unquote, American, and she loves to polka. She absolutely loves to polka. And of course, I love Tejano music and Tejano culture, which is pretty much San Antonio South is Tejano culture up to the Mexican border. Hope you're doing fantastic. Thanks for checking out my uh, live stream. This has been Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Gracias. Adios. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. Like, subscribe, and share, and ring the bell for future notifications. And leave your kind and friendly comments uh, uh, below, abajo, muchos, muchos gracias. Where am I at? I'm in sizzling, 105 degree, Fort Worth, Texas. Absolutely fabulous weather outside. I look forward to doing more yard work. Yesterday I was doing yard work, I was sweating quite profusely. Thanks for watching my video. Gracias. Adios.
Let me turn on the other camera so I can go to the last shot here. Bye-bye.